What's up, guys? Another void here with more World of Tanks Dungecraft for you, Season 4, Episode 36. Uh, and today we're going to be doing something really cool. As you can see, I've been clearing a lot of stuff out. This place is really clearing out now. Uh, all these ender chests are back here. And I think only one of them actually needs the trash piece. That none of the other ones do. So I just left them the way they are. So that's all set. That got reset as well. Um, basically, this thing is shaping up to actually be... It's going to be weird because it seems like there's going to be nothing out here. But maybe I'll put the ore processing out here. Anyway, the first thing I want to do is go in my server room. Did you just see that? Camouflage doors. Heck yeah. So the way I did this is I just made a door and then camouflage. So if you put camo in there, you can see the recipe. It's pretty simple. A couple ink, ink sacks, just kind of different dyes and a piece of dirt. Makes nine of them. And then you put... You put that with a door, let's see, door, camouflage door, right? A wooden door, secret door. You can just put a door with camouflage, which is what I did, and then, bam. So it basically duplicates whatever uh, block it's on top of, so that's kind of neat. Secret server room. So it looks pretty crappy, right? Well, that's where this guy comes in. Let's put one of these down, let's put it over here, I guess. It's going to be black, because server room should be black, right? So, we're going to do this. Oh, yeah! Look at that. It's like I planned it. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. This is looking sweet. This is looking sweet. Uh, you didn't do this, huh? All right, I'll make you. Okay, let's do... What's? Where's the center? Crap. There it is. Damn, it's like he knows what he's doing. This is so sweet. Wand of Eagle Trade is like cheating. All right, here we go. <laughs> Watch, I'm going to have black... Wait, hey! You have more? What are you doing? Let's see. Well, that's not going to work. Let's see. Where's the dirt? Here it is. It needs... Like, yeah, there we go. Ha-ha! I'm not really sure what's wrong with it that time, but whatever. So I'm right-clicking right -clicking to do a huge area and left-clicking to just do one. Wow, that looks cool. I thought I had some black inverted lamps in here. I'll get them in here in a little while, because that looks too cool. So let's let's get rid of this too. There we go. That is sweet. That's my server room. You'll see why in a second. Boom, that looks so tight. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is the ME, uh, which is, I don't know what that stands for, but it's part of Applied Energistics. Uh, I think it's matter energy or something like that. It's basically a storage system and an auto crafting system. Um, and we've been using it a little bit over here with the chest. Uh, as you can see here, basically just stores items like this. This is base this is the ME system. So what we're going to need is pretty much all of these quartz crystals. I kind of wanted to wait till I have a lot of these. We're going to burn probably all almost all of these today. Um, let's get rid of some of this because we don't need it now. Uh, I don't know. That's, that's good. There we go. And we don't need those either. Um, and we're going to need lots of this dust as well. We're going to basically need all of our quartz. That's probably good for now. So let's put this guy away. Well, actually, another thing I was doing was doing these lights. This is another cool um, thing for this. Let's see. Lights are every skip two, right? So boom. I don't know. I might want to move those because I kind of want to have it next to the wall. That's a cool way to do the lights. So I've been I made a whole bunch of those. Uh, let's dump some of this stuff off because we have other things to do and we need the space. We probably don't need that. I don't know. That probably looks good. All right. So we've got one uh, Emmy storage drive, that big diamond one I made, and we are gonna probably need another one. But before I do that, I'm gonna make up a bunch of other parts. First, I'm gonna make make an Emmy drive. It should be called Drive Bay or something, but it's not. Basically, what this is, is um, a, this thing holds 10 of those drives all in one and connects it to the ME system. And I'll show you what connecting that actually means to you in a little bit here. But I'm going to make one of these. I need a bunch of red uh, redstone gold chip sets. Actually, I don't need a bunch, just like a couple. I think I do have a couple of those. Yes, I do. So let's do this. A chest. I don't have a chest. I will very soon. So let's just do that. And I kind of, I didn't really move all of these uh, work or uh, project tables because I'm not sure if I'm going to need them. I don't think I'm going to actually because 
uh, the ME system is basically going to take over for all these project tables. I'm not going to need these anymore. So I need some iron. Probably going to keep needing more iron. Let's just get like 34 to make the ME drive. So let's pull that. We're going to put that in the server room. But let's get a couple other things first. I really only need two items to really start using this thing. The next thing I want, you can get a ME... Uh, that's not what it is. ME access terminal. This will let you access items in your system. Uh, but the thing is, there's something else that lets you access it and craft with the items. So I'm going to do it. ME crafting terminal. Uh, it's just like kind of a two-in-one. So there's no point in making access as far as I'm concerned. So a storage cell. Oh, you need an access terminal anyway. Okay. Well, I can make one of those. Conversion matrix. We already should have one of those. Yeah, we already have conversion matrix in here. Let's pull one of those out. And then something we're going to need, which we're probably going to want to plan. Well, I don't really want to plan for it. Well, who cares? Let's just use up the remaining plans, right? Because once I get the ME system up, I won't need these plans anymore. So let's make ourselves some cable. Um, this is going to be something we're going to be using a lot to connect our system together. You use, actually, quartz fiber is going to be, okay, that's easy enough. Eh, we don't need to plan for that. This is why you need all that dust, though. So we're going to need a lot of this cable because we have to hook up all of our um, like chests and, uh, and crafting terminals and all that up to the system. And you do that uh, through these, these cables. Now remember, everything you attach to the ME system costs a little bit more on the system as a whole every time you, you um, add something. So like every piece of cable, I think it's like 32 is 1 MJ per tick or something like that. It's pretty, it's pretty easy going, but as soon as you start adding, adding like crafting terminals, it's usually 1 MJ per tick per uh, terminal or something like that. Uh, and then when you do auto crafting, it, it's like a bulk amount. It could be like 50 MJs to craft an item. So you have to be a little bit careful. Uh, so that seems like an easy enough plan. Man, I think this is going to consume a lot of iron, so it's kind of good that we've been running all those quarries. And I haven't really exactly planned out what I'm going to be building. I have an order uh, in which I want to build it, and we'll just cut it off in about 30 minutes and do the rest of it at uh, some other time. Um, so that'll be good enough. We need one of these storage, don't we? Storage cell plan. Let's get one of those. Uh, let's put it here. And then we're going to need also an, a crafting table. Simple enough. There we go. Again, more iron. I can see we're definitely going to need more of that very soon. Uh, access terminal and two pieces of glass gets us the crafting terminal so we're pretty much ready to go um, I'm gonna go dump these off let's see now we've got some cable as well right let's go pick up this chest and move it over here so we're gonna have to figure out another way to, to attach this stuff when we're done with it we also need our um, uh, oops we also need our uh, controller this is what controls the power uh, and one thing I didn't do is draw a line over there. So let's just, for now, I'm going to pull power off of one of these. It's very close, so it'll be fine. So let's pull it in over here. Well, actually, my crafter, I want to be about right here. So maybe we can put the power right there. So we'll have the, let's see. Let's do something like... Let's see, that already goes underground, right? Where is this, anyway? This is at 15, right? So 15. So let's go down. Let's see, one, two. Really, we only need to go two, but we'll go three so we can walk. So 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, and you guys probably can't see. 15, OK. What, 14? Is it right here? Where is it? There it is. Okay, so we're good to go. So let's get some, um, let's get some, what's it called? Power conduit out of here? Energy conduit? Connect this thing. Sorry, itching my eyeball here. Let's connect this bad boy up here. Now we're going to also need stone. Well, we can really just do it with cobble. Nobody really cares. Nobody can really see this. So we'll fill this thing back in with cobble. Let's get rid of our light. Sorry, if you can't see, it is what it is, and too bad, I guess. All right, so now we've got a power line. Now remember, you have to be careful. I just missed a one. Did you see that? You cannot miss one. That's not going to help you. Okay, so we're going to go like this. 
and then I think I can, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to put the controller right here. This is basically everything now has to connect to the controller. So all the wiring has to connect to this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the drive there. Actually, no, I don't want the drive there. I want to drive tower. So I'm going to put the drive there because I might have more, more drives uh, up that direction, which means I'm going to have to drill a hole right through here. Yep, and connect some cabling. And I thought those pieces were going to be here, but let's make them here. We're going to put our crafting terminal here, and now it's connected. You can see it's connected. We'll talk about this interface in a second here. So it's connected. Let's uh, fill that back in. You can't even see. That's what I love. I, I love that you can't see all these wires and stuff. We're going to add a wire there, and now this thing's connected, and I should have my drive. I put it in, and you can see the drives and see how much space are on each drive. You can also ob obviously mouse over them. But you still get the color coding on the drives, which is really nice. So let's see how much we're taking up now. So three from cable. Actually, I was wrong. Oh, three cables, 11 units per tick. So that's a lot more expensive than our previous with just a, a chest, right? So let's see what we can do, though. Cool, we have all our items. Let's look for gold. There's all our gold ore. Obviously, this isn't going to help until we have, um, you know, uh, ingots in there. We're not going to be able to craft anything. Let's just craft, I don't know. Can we do, I can't remember what you can do here. Let's see, let's do, let's see, stone. We don't have any regular stone in here. What can we do? What can we craft? We can craft a redstone block, right? Okay, let's do that. So let's craft a redstone block. You can see it's just pulling from that inventory. So that's neat. See how it did that? And it pulls it right out of your system. So it's really cool. You don't have to ever go to the... Um... So let's do this. Let's just convert that back. You don't ever have to go to chests anymore. You've got everything you need right there in the crafting system. The problem is there aren't... Uh, the patterns aren't there, right? We'll get to that in a second. So we've set up quite a bit already, really, for the system. I mean, it's not very extensive, but it's kind of cool. Let's hook up this chest nearby. I think you can just connect it like that. No, yeah, you can. Cause, and then what I'm thinking here is I can always pull a drive out. Just kind of check to see what's in it and pull something out manually. I won't normally do that just because I'm going to be doing that uh, at my crafting terminal. And you can see it added one unit per tick. So what's going to happen, though, is it's going to start draining our system. I'm not really sure how many uh, MGs per tick we're putting out. I think it's like 32. So after 32, it's going to start draining our cells. But that's okay. We have that planned expansion, remember? So I will be doing that probably in the next couple of videos. I won't be running a quarry during this time because I want to get that uh, power system stabilized with the ME system here. All right, so we've got a couple things hooked up now. What's the next thing I want to do? Let's see, I did the drive, the crafting terminal. Oh, crafting monitor. That's kind of neat. That's kind of an easy thing to do. Let's go make a crafting monitor. Now, a few of these items are going to require diamond chip sets as we get into the heavier pieces. So that's where I'm going to have to probably pause it and make a couple because I don't make a bunch of those because they cost a diamond a piece at least. I think it's, it's either one or four. I can't remember. Uh, but, it, you know, anything that costs diamonds, I'm, I'm really going to take my time with. I don't want to burn all my diamonds. So ME, what is this thing? Storage monitor. So this thing's pretty neat. ME level emitter. That's another thing we're going to need later, but we'll need it for this build. Uh, that's pretty easy. Cable, iron, and redstone torch. Let's see. Redstone torch. Do I have any sticks? I don't. Let's get a few sticks here. Make some redstone torches. Again, I could make, I would normally make uh, recipes for these, but you'll see why I'm not going to in a minute because there's just no point. I'm just going to use one for now because I only want to make one of these. So let's see. What was that? For now, I'm only going to make one. So it's one of these guys. Some iron. Man, this is really iron and heavy. I didn't think it was going to be this iron heavy. And another piece of that cabling. Gets me an ME level emitter. Those are really cool, and you're going to see why in the future when I set up the um, like the ore processing and different kind of processing really requires those emitters. So uh, that's pretty easy. Now we can build this. Piece of cable. More iron. Jeez. So you can see this is kind of mid to late game, an ME system. It's not really something you craft right away. Um, it's something that's going to cost a little extra especially with the quartz. It's going to take tons of quartz, and I haven't really even started using it yet, but you'll see. There's a one really nice item I want to make that takes a ton of quartz. So I'm going to put this right here, I think. 
So what I'm going to do is hook this guy up right there, and then I'm going to hook some cabling to it. There, now it's connected to the system. And then what I'm going to do is come over here and get out some appetite, because I want to monitor how... Remember I said I wanted to monitor how much I have? I really want to monitor appetite. So I'm going to come over here with this appetite in my hand with the uh, uh, storage monitor and just right-click it. There, now it's monitoring appetite. So we have 148. There's a way to upgrade this so you can actually take the appetite out by, by left-clicking, but I don't need it for this monitor because I don't really need it at all. So I'm going to drop it in here, that extra piece. Now it should say 149. It does. So that's kind of a neat thing if you want to monitor certain... Um, certain items that you have like diamonds or something like that to see uh, you know how many you have. I'm mainly doing this to see when I'm running low. That's the only really item I care about. Maybe glowstone would be another one. If I'm running low on glowstone I might want to monitor that. But I will be adding those as I need them really and that's really to me appetite's the only one I need because it's the only system that's relying on uh, an unrenewable resource that I'm not renewing except manually. Okay, so we got a storage monitor. Let's make some storage buses, and I'll show you why those are cool in a second. We're going to need more cable, obviously. We're definitely going to need more iron. Let's just grab a whole other stack because we're already running out. So let's get the iron in there. Uh, let me storage bus, right? We need like nine. I want to say nine of these. So an ME interface, which we, I haven't talked about. And I might use those in the future. We will see, but I'm definitely going to need more cable. Let's make more cable. So the cabling, let's see, we just need those quartz wires or whatever. We're definitely going to need more glass. This thing takes tons of glass. Let's go get another stack. It's nice that we have stuff auto-generating, too. We don't have to wait. That's another reason why I kind of waited for this stuff. So let's make just a bunch. We're going to need tons of this stuff. And then we need to turn it into cabling. Let's do it like this. There we go, cabling. And more redstone. So after this, we're going to have to go to the ME system and get redstone because that's uh, it's been filtering in there with, from the um, quarry for quite a while now. So we've got tons of cable now. So we should be good with on cable for a while. Let's just put this in here. We don't really have the space to be doing that. So let's do some ME interfaces. Wow, conversion matrix. Going to need nine of those. As far as I remember, those are pretty heavy. Yeah, because they require those chipsets. I'm also going to be automating those chipsets because I'm they're just a pain. Six. We need more chipsets. I'll be back. I'm going to make a few of those, and I'm going to make like eight diamond chipsets because I need a bunch of diamond chipsets. So hold on a second. That's a great time to do it. Bye. Or I'll be back. Hold on. All right, we're back, and just kind of getting the last couple of chipsets here. This took forever, by the way, because it takes 40,000 MJs for a, a gold chipset and 80,000 for a diamond one. So you can see also this thing's pulling in 81 MJs per tick, which is just gigantic. So you kind of don't want to run this thing forever. I have 20 lasers on there. I really want 25, but I don't want to spare the 10 diamonds. So that should be enough for now. That's a lot of chipsets and a lot of MJs. And I was kind of digging out the path where I'm going to put all this junk uh, just a bit, of, uh, a little bit ago here. So I think we need nine of these. When we ran out of crew, oh, that's fine. We got lots more. I say that now. Oh, we have 10 now. Okay. I guess that'll do. So we need, what is that? I mean, it's some storage bus. I'm just put bus in there. How many buses could there be, right? ME storage bus. We need interfaces. We need nine of these, I believe. So let's just do... We're going to need more of these, so let's just do nine. And we will worry about the consequences of doing too many later. Uh, let's see. So we can go... I don't think that's going to make nine, but we'll try it seven. All right, let's get some more. Man, we might need to start, I'm gonna start smelting some iron pretty soon here. And the glass too, right? The glass is out. Oh crap. Okay. Let's get another stack of glass. Good thing we have an auto glass creator. Again, you kind of need all this stuff going before you start these projects. So let's just do nine for now. We'll, we'll uh, leave one extra one of these for ourselves. And so we're going to do the bus, right? Okay. That's easy enough. Again, more iron. Don't you know there are other things in this game but except iron? Apparently not. Nine storage buses. Okay, so that's not going to be enough cable. Let's make some more cable before we uh, get out of here. No, that's not right. Yeah, there we go. No. <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Let's do this, dude. All right. Let's make 
more cabling. We need tons of it. Let's just do a stack. Almost a stack, right? And we're going to need a lot more redstone. Let's just go get, I don't know, a couple stacks. Man, this is really burning up our stuff. Let's see, red. Cool. All right, no, we want them in here. No, we don't want them in there. Damn it. <laughs> well, that's kind of inconvenient. I wonder if you do that. Nope. Okay. Well, we'll figure out a way around it. Plus, we'll be doing all our, all our crafting in there anyway, so it won't matter. Okay, boom, 40. That should be plenty. And we can leave these in here in case we die, which we shouldn't, but whatever. So the way these work is these storage buses help you hook current chests up to your ME system. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to hook all these ender chests up to the system. Remember I was having a problem with that last time? Uh, Yeah, we're going to need one more of these out, aren't we? Oh, we can't. We don't have one more. Okay, let's do it underneath. We should be able to do it underneath, I think. Uh, How do you pick this up? There we go. Let's just go like this. Uh, yeah, I should be able to do that. And then we'll just pick it up at the end here, because I already kind of dug out a space for this. So we're going to put all these in there. They should kind of connect. Yeah, there we go. Connect it to the proper, in the proper direction. You can turn these with a wrench, which I think you've already seen me do. So we only need eight. Good, good. We have an extra one. So we're just going to go like this. No, we don't need that. What are you doing? There we go, they're all connected. And it's actually the same amount of wire, it's like one extra piece, so that's actually perfect. So we're going to keep going along here, uh, and I'll fill, I'll, actually this stuff I need to fill in right now, because I can't get back in here. Not easily, anyway. I will switch this out later, so we'll just do that. Let's see. So for this, we need to go up and over. It's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, let's see, how many is that? Oh, that's why. Uh, does it really need to go that high? I guess. We'll just do it anyway. Let's see. This is where we're going to spend most of our stuff, I think. But we will see. We'll just cry about it later. Going to need a lot more um, of that dust, I'll tell you that. You can grind those uh, crystals into dust. The quartz crystal. But I don't, I don't recommend it just because, wow, you can't do that? Okay, let's just do this then. I don't recommend it because you can't, I don't think you can make the crystals from the dust. So I don't recommend doing that. Now this is going to take a little more extra, it's going to take some extra power, but it's going to look cooler. So we're, we're, we're fine with that, right? I like systems that look cool. Not just that are cool, that actually look cool. So for here, we're going to have to do it again. So I'm just going to stay up high for this one. Because I think I can get away with, yeah, I can run it up there. So let's just do it like this. There we go. And then we'll, we'll do it up here as well. And then we'll start bringing it down. And I think we're going to make it. Should be, be able to make it. Damn, it's like a block, you know, a stack plus one. So this is going to add a lot to our system. This is going to add a lot of juice. So let's look at it beforehand. Six. Okay, 13. And there were six connections. So this is going to add a ton. So plus all the buses. 24 now with 50 connections. That is quite a lot more. Remember, our our uh, assembly table is doing 80 MJs per tick. That's already doing 24 MJs per tick. So let's see if we can't keep up. I think we can still keep up because I think we're producing 32 per tick, right? So, yes, it's barely going up. And I'm, I'm pretty sure when I add the next piece, it's going to go down. But that's okay. We're, I think that's the next thing we're going to do is that expanding that um, power system there. See, so now it says I have 1,853. See, now it's connected. All that appetite's connected. So that is going to tell me, when it gets to, you know, a couple hundred or four, 400 or so, I'm getting low. So let's see what else. Oh, we got blaze rods, 2,400 blaze rods. Let's see, how much stone do we have? Now we should have stone, right? There is none. Oh, we haven't connected those yet. How about bones? 2,000, yeah, tons, right? And now all that stuff's available to the system. We also have um, flowers, right? This, this is a kind of flower. Here's 134 buttercups. That's kind of cool. All that's available when you want to craft, and I'll show you the crafting in a second. And that, in fact, that's the next thing I want to do. I'll fill all that stuff in later. We're, we're fine with that. Let's go back in the server room here. I hope you can see, because it's pretty dark in here. Um, I think you can see. You should be able to see. So I kind of wanted to set the sir, this next piece up over here. It's going to take quite a lot of space, so let me clear a little bit of this stuff out. 
probably out to about here but it's going to be kind of our auto crafting system um, I really hope at the end of this we have enough for one more drive because we're running out of space for drives so let's do well we don't really want to do that but let's put this over here we have one extra bus to do something with so what we're going to want and I don't know why I picked this up oh I know why is we need to make I already counted this out because I'm making my system is going to have room for eight blocks okay um, four crafting CPUs and four pattern providers and I'll tell you what those are in a minute but first let's make the containment walls this is this let's just do it like this containment wall like this this is the um, block that has to go around this is a multi-block structure what I'm about to create it's called a molecular assembler chamber and it basically does craft it's the ME version of crafting it does auto crafting it does a lot of stuff that like the old logistics pipes used to do and I guess they still technically do but um, this is gonna be really cool so let's see I need a bunch of gold I'm really low on gold I don't think that's gonna be enough because I need I need 32 of those blocks times four is what two stacks of, of gold so let's do some gold finally gonna actually have to craft some that's probably good I don't want to do all my ore let's do these real real fast here now did I change this no I didn't sweet so let's just throw the gold in there um, I'm gonna probably craft up a few more ingots let's do some more iron and stuff I'm gonna do that off camera because we're running out of that as well um, and I don't want to run out on camera so I'm gonna do a couple stacks of iron here and I will be back when I've got those all ready to rock because I'm gonna to need tons more iron too so let's just put those in the hopper again once I get the system all the way up and running we won't have to grind out our own ores anymore we'll be able to just use um, they'll be pre grinded because we're gonna have a processing system so it's kinda of weird to be on 36 and not have a processing system but I've never really needed one this has been all I've needed so anyway I'll be right back hold on all right, I think we're good to go here. I'm not going to wait for this all this stuff's done because it's really not necessary. The iron will start uh, soon, and that's enough gold for now. Um, let's get another stack of iron just in case. I'm really hopeful those four stacks of iron will be done relatively quickly. So what we need, and we're going to need more quartz cr crystal, which is, again, why I said we're going to use a ton of it. Um, and you really can't start a project like that, like this until you have a lot of it. And that just is what it is. But this stuff is pretty late game, so you should already have quite a bit. What I'm kind of concerned about is it takes 100 quarts to make one of those large discs. And I'm almost, I'm positive I'm going to need another one. The other one's pretty much full. So I want to make sure, ho well, hopefully they'll have enough. I'm just going to definitely have to run my quarry pretty much immediately. So we're kind of running out of time here. Let's make 32 of these. And before I do anything else, 22, huh? Okay, well, we're going to need more gold. I guess I underestimated that. Hopefully we have enough in here. 22 more? Hmm, well, I don't know. I think we had 22. I need 10. That's 40 more, so this is not enough. Let's get the pattern set up and we can go back. We're going to need more iron as well. And we're probably going to need more iron for the next few pieces too, and we're pretty much out of that. Wish we could use steel. We have two, two stacks of that. Alright, so let's get... Let's see. Let's see if I can make enough of this to get going here. I don't think it's going to be enough. Is that all of it? No, we got 32 more coming. I don't know, about 24 or something like that. Let's see how many we can make. That's 22. Actually, let me go place these and make sure I don't need 32. I really hate to overproduce this. So it goes like this. First, you make your... um. You kind of make your... This is like the frame of... Basically, I, I consider this kind of like a server even though it's not really a server. If you know what a server is, um, it kind of, what is that? Is that a wire? Yeah, so we're gonna need a lot more. We need one, two, three. Let's, we're gonna need this, uh, let's see, one, two, we're gonna need this whole top piece, right? Plus two more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need 10 more pieces, yeah, so 32 was correct. Just wanted to make sure, so this video is gonna run a little long because I want to make sure that I can get this um I want to make sure I get this crafting server up even well it's really called molecular assembler chamber I want to get it up and running before the next episode so we need 10 more of these let's see eight nine I need one more so yeah that's fine I can do that so let's go get this set up we're gonna probably gonna need more iron so 
it's fine to go to uh, kind of waste a little bit of time here. So yeah, you need to frame out your whole thing. I don't know what the largest size is. I know the smallest is three by three, but you wouldn't want to do that because you can only use the internal blocks. You can see I only have space for eight on the inside of this thing. Three by three would be space for one. So that'd really be kind of a crappy auto crafting thing. I, the largest might be five by five. I don't really know. You'll have to look it up. I don't plan on having that large of a system for quite a while. So the next thing I need are crafting CPUs. Now, the more of these you have, the faster the, the system will craft for you. So I'm going to do four of them. Seems like a good amount. And where are my diamond chip sets? Are they over here? Oh, maybe they're over here? That's odd. Where are my diamond chip sets? I really don't want to lose them. Cost me eight diamonds to make them. And a buttload of energy. I thought I put them in here. Yeah, there they are. Duh, duh. God, you guys are probably like, Nether, they're right there, idiot. Okay, so we also need glowstone, which I put. Oh, there we go. We got a stack here. That's fine. Okay, so let's make four of these dudes. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but that's okay. Um, we need all this stuff anyway to, to do the whole system. So you can't really do one part without the other. So let's do that. Again, we're going to need tons more iron. I hope it's on iron now because we're totally out. Yes, it is. Good. Actually, quite a bit of iron. So, the other thing we're going to need... Um, well, let's just make four of these first. So, we're going to need four of these guys. That's a pretty good crafting speed. That'll give us a pretty good speed right there. Then we're going to need vents. These uh, heat vent. ME heat vent. We're going to need... Uh, how many of these? 16 of these. These have to go all the way... All around the outside to make a cube, basically. So, we're going to need iron bars and iron ingots. And a piece of cable inside. So, we have iron bars here, I believe. And we have... Oh, good. We're going to need, how many of these? 16. So we need 64 iron bars. Pretty good, huh? You didn't think I could count like that, did you? Okay. So we got iron bars on the outside. Six can come out. Iron around this side right here. And we're going to steal this iron. One cool thing as well about breaking down these um, project tables is we're not going to have any extra iron just laying around like we used to have. We need 16 of these. Nine. Okay, well, let's see, what do we need? Iron and iron bars? We've got the iron bars. Just don't have the iron, but we do in a second here. Yeah, we won't have all that extra, you know, iron and stuff hanging out, basically being unusable because it's it's locked up in those project tables and stuff. That will be a thing of the past, which will be very nice. It won't really matter just because the projects we're doing now seem to be so um, resource-consuming. It's not that big of a deal, really. It's not like there's tons of... Uh, Wow, that is exact. Tons of extra resources that I'm needing from these things. Okay, so the last thing we're going to need are the uh, four pattern provider. What these do is hold the patterns for crafting, which you craft, you create the patterns, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And these hold them. Each one of them holds, I think, like 64 or something like that. So I'm, I figure four of these should be enough. That's 200 and something crafting recipes. That's plenty. We need these conversion matrices. We're going to need eight of those, which I already crafted a bunch of redstone uh, golden chip sets for. So that's good. We only need seven now. Iron bars. Again, more iron. Man, I did not know it was going to require this much iron. I should probably throw a few more in there. Is that all we have? No, we got more coming out. Okay. Because now we're going to be totally out of iron. All right, so let's get five, six, seven, right? Hmm, we need more. Let me just get some more iron. Because I really don't want to run out completely like I'm already doing. This way it'll craft up a couple extra stacks off camera. And I'm really going to run it out of gold though. Let's do another one gold. And that's all my gold. So I need to get some more quarries running. I'm probably going to go down there and do some mining just because I want to make sure that I have enough. I hate when I completely run out of stuff. I like to have someone in reserve, and this is why, because I'm on camera, I'm trying to finish this project up, and it's taking forever. So, there, eight, finally. So, we also need four crafting tables. No problem. We're going to need more wood. So, let's get some of that. That's what she said. More wood. I know I have um, patterns for this, but that's fine. I don't really care um, at this point. Okay, so, diamond ship sets. Oh, we're going to need four of these uh, cells, too, aren't we? So let's do this because I can't see what I'm doing. 
Okay, good thing we crafted some extra ones of those. We are good to go, I think. No, we're going to need some more of this and some more of this. Four. Good. And let's do that, I guess. Okay, so four in the middle. Some on the outside here. Let's do that. Actually, we could probably just do that. Four on the top. Uh, this in the bottom. And what was on the outside? Oh, of course, iron. Duh. Duh, John. And of course, you're going to be one short. Well, let's steal some from, I don't know. Got any? Yes, you do. Thanks. <laughs> Four of those. All right, now we're ready to actually make our system. This is so cool. Now, let's make sure we have enough cable to hook it up. I don't think we do. Let's make some more cable. We're going to need more of this anyway. can never really have too much of this stuff, so I'm not worried about overproducing it. Let's get another stack of glass here. I don't know what I'm going to do with that glass. Oh, I do know what I'm going to do with the glass. That's right. There's a cool little trick I'm going to do. So I only got four because I'm a noob and put the glass outside of this crafting area here. Let's just get tons of that. There we go, 40. All right. I wonder if that's shapeless. We're about to find out. It is. Very cool. Very cool. Boom. So what did you do? Run out of... Yeah, we did. Okay. There we go. Again, not concerned with making too much cable. We're going to need it. All right, so first we'll put these vents in. Again, they go on the outside. So like this. And obviously you're going to need 16. So again, very heavy build, but so, so worth it, especially with the auto crafting. It's going to be awesome. So I'm going to put my CPUs. Let's see. Let's put... Wait a minute. 4... 20. Uh-oh. 24. I totally screwed that up. 24 vents, not 16. What were the vents again? Let's see if we have enough now to make them, actually. Vent. Oh, there were just iron bars and iron. Let's go get some iron. Then we should be good to go. And this is going to end it for this thing, because we are really running over the time here. Actually, we're not too bad over the time, but we're enough that I'm concerned. Let's just put it that way. So, okay, let's do this. We almost have enough right here. We do. Sweet. Well, we won't need that many. We only need eight, correct? So there we go. Iron. Boom. And, oh, duh. Put some iron in there. Oh, we're going to need ca uh, cabling, too, right? Okay, so I think we need eight of these. Okay, cool. Watch, I'm totally wrong. We didn't need this many. That would suck. Okay, so we can put these back. We don't need them. All right, now we should have enough. So it's actually 16 plus 8, 24. We need 24 of these. But now before we go any further, we're going to put these in. I'm going to put four CPUs, like so... Then I'm going to put four of these pattern providers. You can see they have, you know, a chest worth of space or whatever this is. So as soon as I put the last of these in, boom, it is now a uh, molecular assembler. You can see I have four pages, and here's where you put I put recipes, okay? But I don't have any recipes yet. Let's at least hook it up to the grid. And again, I want to check. I dropped all my cables. Great. I want to check how much the system goes up with this thing. It's pretty expensive. So I think this is going to cost me an arm and a leg as far as power. And remember, nothing's going on. It's just sitting there. The system is just sitting there, and it's not consuming any power. Um, let's see. Let's go this direction. Oh, that's not a good idea. I'm already running into the other system here. So how am I going to do this? I could, could do it right here. Yeah, let's do that. I really don't want you to be able to see the cabling, although it is a server room. Mm, still don't want you to see the gabling. Well, I don't know. It could be kind of cool. Have it run up over here and something like that. Yeah, let's do it like this. Let's see. Let's do something like that, and let's cover the sucker back up. All right, here we go. Hold on. Just bear with me here. Okay, so let's do... Let's do something like this. Uh, no, that wasn't it. And I'm going to hook it up like this. Let's see. Let's go a little bit higher. Oh, that sucks. Come on! <laughs> Damn it. Well, let's make... Let's see how this thing works now. We're going to craft up, I don't know, uh, sapphire. That's that's a lot. Nice. And we got sticks, right? Boom. Sapphire pick. And it keeps it in there. Not like I want to. Pat Sapphire pick, but whatever. All right, now let's do this. Let's just hook it up to this side. Come on, you troll wiring. <laughs> All 
All right, so let's look at it what it is first, and then we'll um, hook that thing up. So again, 24 units per tick, pretty big already, and I haven't even hooked anything up really. I mean, it's pretty blank, bleak. It doesn't have a lot. So now it's up to 30, 32. So it added eight. So eight units per tick. Now that's pretty much what I'm pumping out right now. Oh, 24 vents. It's adding everything, everything to the system. Four CPUs, you know, four of these. So it's adding everything to the system. Um, now I should be able to craft stuff directly from here. And you'll see it in the next uh, episode. We're going to talk about crafting and stuff. It's going to be pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited about this system. Uh, most of it is set up for what I want so far. Uh, I just want a few more items and then I'll set up the processing and stuff like that. Should be pretty awesome when I set that up. But I'll be doing crafting starting next week just to show you how crafting works. And then we can move on to um, doing that automated processing system so I don't have to grind up the ores and stuff like that. Again, episode 37 or 8 doing that. It's pretty funny. Um, I also need to, to expand this power system so I need to do that soon. I know it's very strained right now. Let's see if it's uh, what it's doing here for the end of the episode here. So, yeah, see, it's barely keeping up, and that's because I'm already pulling out 32. And cr when I craft uh, more of this, refine more of this gas, it's going to take even more, this biofuel. So, yeah, this system is not going to hold up. Let's see, it's four, right? Doing four. So max is four. Power output, 0.4. Oh, it's because it's backed up. So it's 4, 16, 30. Oh, it's 64. So I got 64 MJs per tick going on right now. I want to double that to 128. I think that's a good burst amount. So that's all I'll be doing pretty soon. Anyway, let me know what you think about ME, this ME system, and then um, and applied energistics so far. Pretty sweet. I'm really excited to use this auto crafting stuff. Um, again, I want to get more and more disk drive in there because my disk is pretty full. Uh, and uh, anyway, let me know what you think. See you guys next time. Stay frosty.